Hey, hey, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning into our channel. You may just be over here seeing this video or you may have seen us go live on Facebook about this subject. You know, last night we stayed up really late. But first of all, subscribe. Watching, subscribe. <laughs> yeah. uh, subscribe, subscribe. And follow us on Instagram, Real Life at the Copelands. But also subscribe to our channel and you'll get all of our updates because we, like, we upload three times and like our video. Like our videos, oh, comments. You know what? Share this video if you like it. Yeah. Share it. Share it on your Facebook. Share it on your social media. Um, we've been, we're doing some free stuff for people who share about us to so share. So, this is the subject tonight, is we've been watching The Bachelorette, and I suck Shay in, as you probably saw if you saw us on Facebook or Instagram. I get sucked in. I, I suck him in, he ends up watching it with me, and he has to watch it so we can talk about it. It, it brings forth a lot of conversations, because first of all, where the bachelor or bachelorette are concerned, like Shay and I, I like to watch it, but then they never pick who I want. They never, in my opinion, pick who I think is going to be good. But some of them have worked out, so that's good, and that's all great. But there's so many aspects of the show that, like, in normal life, like, it makes no sense. And so it's it's it brings it brings forth a lot of conversations between us, right? Yeah, we've had lots of conversations. We've had lots of conversations about it. And it's um, kind of funny I'm talking about the bachelor. <laughs> like, oh my God. So I know. So this is it. One of See, the many, what happens? This is one of the many things I suck yeah, into. Because we whatever Let's get DVR to it. it. Mm -hmm. We watch it late at night, so, so I put it I'm on. I'm either going to sleep or I'm trying to read, and then there's a lot of arguing going on. And, and you have to know what's going then on. Then I get sucked in. Yeah, so. that's what happens. So, <clears throat> if you've been watching, you know there was this guy on there that, I mean, it, it is my opinion. This is my opinion. That he really acted terrible the entire season. Like, he was controlling. He was had a lot of anger issues. He like threw meat on one of the guys, some lunch meat that was served. I mean, he was always like clenching his fist. He's like angry and just really was, did not seem like, he has a lot of growing to do is all I know. He just did not seem like a very good person. But then he would use being a Christian or his Christianity to, in this is my opinion, in a manipulation way, all season. Well, I think that, he, that's my opinion. Well, he he used that card so he could judge others. Yes, that's the way I. I mean, he was like, well, he Ju was, very judgy. Yeah, he was, and he was awful. And he was acting well, terrible like, I, I know. all the while. So if you didn't watch the show, this is the gist of it, and and very very judgy. And then at towards the end, if you know anything about The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, this is the topic of conversation we have every season, not just this season. I find it strange for the season to culminate to they're going to go into these fantasy suites, which they're getting it on. I mean, you don't know if they're having sex, but they're kissing and on top of each other and all this prior to going in uh, on the videos most of the time. And so, and they call them the fantasy suite. Maybe they just go in there and talk. I don't know. Some of them might. But what Shay and I have always discussed is I'm not getting married to anybody or engaged for that matter to anyone that a week before is sleeping with other dudes or vice versa women yeah i said that wrong <laughs> if you, the guys sleeping with girls and the girls sleeping with guys with the bachelorette sleeping with the, right with so i'm kind of like i mean my point of view is if we're dating and we're talking about we we're forever like we knew when we met we were forever right Yes. I think. Yeah. I did. No. So, I, I, was, I wasn't talking, sleeping with, going in hotel rooms with anyone other than you. <laughs> so. And me either. Like I would think. It's not that I had never. It's not that I judge 
someone. Everybody has a past. Everybody has relationships. But when you're talking about marrying someone, you're not having that type of relationship with other people. That's why the show is kind of so, dumb. So, the question I mean, is, so honestly, let's, I'm, so just, I'm asking this. this I, is, I know the answer. So, let's say we're, we're dating. Mm -hmm. And I come to you and say, oh, yeah, I've slept with several women while we're dating. And I think you're the one that I want to marry. Yeah. While we're dating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, how do you that's respond? Not, that's not going to work for me. Right. Right. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No. I, I agree 100%. 100%. Like, I'm not marrying someone that is still, it, it's not, the difference is it's not dating, it's having intimate relationships with people. There's a difference in just dating around. And when you're looking for a husband, to me, the show would be better, uh, I'm looking for a serious relationship, would be better. Right. Than like I'm proposing at the end. I mean, marriage. and I watched every season, y'all. I'm looking for marriage, but I'm, I'm looking for mar I'm looking for the one eventually but I'm not getting engaged next week because that just doesn't make sense. And then my other thought, that's my other thought. I have a lot of opinions. My other thought is this, that as a woman, and I know guys are different, but as a woman, when you have an intimate relationship with someone, it becomes a heart relationship with that person because, and maybe all women aren't like me. I mean, I'm speaking from my experience and my experience, I work with women every day. But when someone becomes intimate with another person, you give them a little piece of your heart, whether you're with them or not. And then your decisions about that person look different than they will if you haven't been intimate with them. Well, this is, I mean, you saying that, that's a whole different ball game tangent of where our society and our world is going as far as maybe that's the way you feel, but if you... Um, that's why movies and shows have... But here's what I'm saying is, is this is kind of the way the young people, this is just the way I see it. I'm not saying everyone's like this, but they're kind of desensitized to sex and sex is not that big of a deal. But it is. No, 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 I'm just saying. Even if, if you, they go okay. around, even girls that go around sleeping around, I'm not judging them. It's I, I have no judgment. But what but I'm trying to say, well, but they are. So if Hannah, sex, Hannah, Hannah says, because we're talking about the veteran. Hannah says that she did have sex with one of the mm -hmm. guys. She mm -hmm. did say that. Mm -hmm. So what well, the way you're saying it is is that okay? Well, she should marry that one because that's the no, one she has feelings. That's not yeah, what that's I'm what saying. you're saying. That's not you're like no. because it's a heart thing because you no. want to have sex with no, them. No, no, well, no. That's what you said. No, it's once. What I'm trying you to say is, want, is it her, her? No, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. No, no. Once you have that kind of connection with someone as a woman. It, it will, it is going to, and maybe other women are different. Everybody's different, but like I said, I'm around women a lot, is it affects you. I'm not saying that's who she should marry. Maybe she had sex with him and it was awful and terrible. And she's like, oh, thank God, I don't want to marry him. I don't know. But what I'm saying is sex is a whole nother level for me, mm -hmm. of intimacy. Mm -hmm. That's not date. For me, I don't judge people that maybe they casually date and they casually have sex. For me, that's it's another level of intimacy. Which, I mean, and this so is... This I is... I know, and here's a whole little note. I don't because, judge you if you go around sleeping with everybody. I don't, it, I don't judge the person, but what I'm saying is, talking it, to women a lot, once they've had that, type of connection with a man, the relationship is different. So what, what I don't understand mm -hmm. is how you're dating mm -hmm. three people mm -hmm. and then four people or four, whatever it is. And then you're going to have, maybe y'all can help me. 
you're going to have sex with them to decide which ones you want to keep dating and possibly marry. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you hold that thought because okay. here's what I want to say. Because Kimberly and I, we've discussed this. We, we regards, have a lot of in regards talks. to sex wise. You know, we we I mean, obviously, both of us had sex before we were married, and yeah. what what we and I'll just say this and tell ourselves we had sex together before we were married hmm. and but what we have said was that tell on we're gonna tell on ourselves is that you know and, and if you're a virgin and you're saving yourself for marriage that's and, awesome, and that's awesome. There's we're, no, not, we're, we're not judging we this don't is just have a, anything this is just the way that's we great. think that's great but i think that's awesome it's kind of like um we wanted to <laughs> try the milk before we bought the cow kind of thing but i know you know what i'm saying right. we wanted to see if we connect sexually because if we if it wasn't good if it wasn't great <laughs> if we didn't like each other the way it worked together then but you know, that's just us We're I, not, that's not the christian way i, I understand <laughs> but i'm saying this is what we this thought was the, like we did hey, we you did. are who you are that's true you are who you are why yes. are you apologizing for being who you are that's it doesn't right. make you wrong right indifferent anything it's just like that's just the way like we yeah. wanted to connect before we made that commitment that we're gonna marry yeah we did i mean you we know did. i mean we, if you don't like having sex with the person that you're gonna be you know, you're supposedly, you're thinking you're going to be married to for the rest of your life. What are you going to do? I mean, obviously you can maybe fix it and talk to each other and maybe make it great. But what if it's just terrible? I mean, well, you don't want to. You're encouraging young people to have sex out of marriage right now. I'm not encouraging <laughs> them. I'm not saying that. I'm talking about we knew. What we did. We, we knew, knew we were going, we wanted we to be We wanted together. to be yes. together. Yes. We had made the decision that we Which, were we wanted to get married. Right. And I'm not encouraging anybody. And, I, mean, I hope that I'm not encouraging anybody to go have sex. No, no. Just go have don't sex. Misunderstand. But we knew I mean Yes. We're very sexual. And sex is a big <laughs> part of I don't our know if we can put this on. relationship. <laughs> Well, that's true. With each other, we are. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Yes. 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 We said this was real life at the Copeland, so this is. So, yeah, we knew that had to work. We're all that being real. said. We're yeah, yeah, real. this is real. So, all that being said, on the show. Now we're back to the Now we're back to what the whole point of this was. So, on the show, she, the dude that we were talking about was just, he really was, in my opinion, just very... It, he wasn't, he did not do a good job on the show. No. I, I don't know how he is in real life. I just know how I saw him in the show and what my opinion of him was on the show. And so it was time for them to maybe do the fantasy suite or whatever. Which let's, let's, you know, she has four guys. She's down mm -hmm. to four guys. And she's already gone on three dates with the three other guys. And this guy, was Luke. He last? Yeah, this guy, Luke, was last. So he's the fourth one. And she's so. going to tell you, and I, I just want to say, you know, what he says to her, I completely respect. It was how he said it. I mean, wherever, how, you know, and he it really didn't say it that bad and it, at first. And then he got worse and worse and worse when well, he started back. Well, here was the thing. This is because I've seen so much controversy out there about this. And... People like are hardcore about this. Is he did say it in a judgmental way because he he comes across extremely judgmental. Yeah. And like he's judging everybody else and he's over here acting like a crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. But he basically is like, if you've had sex with these other guys, you're not for me. And which I, I can respect. I can respect. That. I would I told Shay, I mean, for years I've said, if I'm on this show and you're trying to get me to go in a fantasy suite with you, I'm gonna say, if you slept with these other women, it while you're dating me, it's not that I'm insecure, it's not that I'm controlling you, it's we're not our values don't line up. So that's chill, that's okay. 
we're just not made for each other. And that's, I mean, what, and that's what we were talking it, about. It's okay. If we're dating. Yes. If we're dating and I'm saying I'm having sex with other people, there's a good chance you're not going to be dating I'm not going to date, date you. anymore. Right. So, first of all. That's so, why the show's kind of dumb. And yeah, it's sad. not. But, reality. I mean, it's not reality. <laughs> it's not. There's no woman in her right mind that's going to be dating three guys that are sleeping with three other women. Or vice versa. He would never date me if I'm doing that. You mean a guy dating four women and yeah. sleeping with all of them? Yeah, and, yeah or right. whatever. Yeah. So, that being said, you know, she freaks out on him. My husband is never going to tell me that his wife is not going to do this and blah, 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 blah. Which... I understand his demeanor is aggressive. His demeanor is judgmental. But the bottom line is, this is, again, my opinion. Again, I know my husband has had sex with other people before he knew me. But I'm not going to be a week away from being engaged with him. And he's sleeping with other people. I personally, I'm glad he's off the show. He was not for her. I don't like the way he said it. But I have no problem with what he said, personally. Right. Well, and the only, that's what I was saying. I had no problem with what him if he if she he said if she's slept with the other guys or whatever. Then we're not together. Then, we don't really. Then need I'm going to remove myself from the show. But then he didn't but then, stand. But then up. he didn't stand on what he, he said. said. He and I would have respected good. him for if to say that because there's nothing wrong with that. Right. I didn't think anything was wrong with him saying. Right. Saying, well, if you're sleeping with these other guys, then I know you don't want to be with me. Right. Because I would like, say that to you. And that's fine. But it's like the attack. And I know a lot of it is he did act so horrible and crazy on the show. Okay, sorry. We had to get the dog out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Our dog was like, let's play. Dad's home. Real life. Yeah, this is real life. So, I think this is my thought. I agree. I agreed with Hannah. Jesus loves her, no matter what. I agreed, though, with him that why would you want to be with a person that's having sexual relations <laughs> with other people the week before engagement? Now he didn't stand on it. He he didn't ever own anything he said. But it provoked a lot of conversations with us and our kids and everybody in between because it's like, I just feel like this is a downfall in society. Like, and it's not a judge thing. It's like I said, women are giving away pieces of their hearts all over the place every time they're set in sexual relations. That, that's my opinion. It's not judging. I, I don't care. I love everyone. Mm -hmm. It's just, I just know people's psychological. I talk to so many people mm -hmm. that it affects them when they are going around having casual sex. I feel like just from the line of work I've been in. Well, I don't, I mean, and I can, <coughs> and maybe not everyone. I mean, I can talk it as, mm -hmm. as a perspective of as you know before i accepted jesus and before i was a believer versus after i guess mm -hmm. because you were a believer at a young age and and i, I still did wrong i've always done wrong things i, I do wrong i did I mean, something wrong today I i'm always doing wrong things i really didn't um i guess i really didn't think about sex i mean think about like as a bad thing or I shouldn't be doing it, right. Yeah, like like it was a should or shouldn't. Right. It was yeah, like kinda yeah. like whatever. Your sexuality you thought of it different. Which I was a believer and I did have sex. Yeah. I mean I did. Yeah. I mean Right. So it's not and this is the thing. We all do things. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of things I do to this day that people might look on that are Christians that they don't like. I mean, I have a glass of wine. A lot of Christians think that's not good. I'm not a drinker. Right. right. But you know what I'm saying? So I just think I th it's, you've got to be but less judgmental. That's what I think. And I think as, you know, as maybe people that, that aren't Christians, 
that maybe view Christians to say, well, they're just, they're judgmental, you know, they are hypocritical, hypocritical because the way he was acting and what he was projecting on yeah. everyone else, that was very hypocritical. Right. I don't think Christians are hypocritical because we all sin, mm -hmm. but it's when mm -hmm. we sin because we all do, but then we're pointing the finger at everybody else and pointing out everybody's flaws right. and what they're doing wrong. Right. And so think, please know, I'm not saying Hannah did wrong, he did wrong, which I am kind of judging him. Which I mean, here's I the deal, everyone has an opinion yeah. on, on something and what they view things and the way they look at things. And they can live their life that way. Right. And right. I just think that, I mean, obviously you you have an opinion on something, but doesn't mean that we're judging Right. Like, we're not saying it's like, oh, well, I won't be around this person. I won't talk to this right. person. Right. I, I, Everybody deserves grace and mercy. Yeah. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. But does this cause any thoughts from you all? A C6 fam. <laughs> Please don't judge us. Because <laughs> I can't believe what you said. But we just were, we really, we've been talking a lot about this. And this is a big topic out there. And. I mean, honestly, well, sex me is personally, a big, sex is a big topic. It is. And it's like, you know, and, and talking with your kids about sex, it's just like, it is a hard, hard topic. It is. And especially with society the way that it is, with movies and just, but we you know, I just, think, I just with think, our, think of how open I just think about it. TV shows. Yes. How different they are from when we were a kid. To now, or movies. just you know, and just the language that the, they're able to use on just regular mm -hmm. TV shows mm -hmm. versus when we were kids. Well, I say bad words sometimes. Oh, you have a dirty mouth. I sometimes say a bad word, but I still love the Lord. I so think, I think she might have been a sailor. Stop. At one time. <laughs> but you, say, he's joking. No, I'm not. That's I not do. a joke. Shay. <laughs> Yes, I sometimes say a bad word. I do. It just pops out. I try not to. <laughs> <laughs> so, the bottom line is, what, what are, uh-oh, what are your thoughts? We're losing battery. These were our thoughts. I thought he mishandled it, but I didn't think there was anything wrong with what he said. That's the bottom line. And then... And the whole, and here's the thing I've realized, the whole world disagrees with me. Oh. Everyone else thinks it was awful that he told her he didn't want to be with her if she was having sex with those people. And personally, I don't understand what's wrong with that. Yeah, personally. I, well, I, I don't understand what's wrong with either. Like, That's fine. I'm not yes. dating anyone that's having sex with other people. Which, and I know. And I'm certainly not getting I mean, married to It's them. a show. It's, it a is. Yeah. it's a show and yeah. it's not real life and real dating and it's, you know, it's weird. I mean, honestly. I mean, yeah. it's, I mean, but we all watch it. We, we do. all, we, I mean, they, millions and millions say, of people. I like to watch it. I, I, mean, I mean, I know a lot of people. People love drama. Some of y'all may be judging me that I watch it. I watch it. So yeah. here's the thing. These are our thoughts. We want to know what you think. That's what we want to know. So subscribe, share us. <laughs> and if you're Hannah or Luke, Luke, Jesus still loves you too. <laughs> and Jesus loves you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Hannah, you too. I like, I have no judgment for any of them. Lord knows I've messed up plenty. But I do know, I feel like the world has attacked him because of how he acted the whole show which I, I wanted him off. I'm like, what is she doing keeping him? But, I mean, and just, what, we, you, know what I, you know what I was gonna say? I just now remember what I was gonna say. It's because I've lived what I was saying before, as I lived as not necessarily a non-believer and then a believer. And it's really changed my, I mean, and this is, and I don't wanna be judging people because everybody has the way that they think is, I changed my view on sex is when I became a believer. And, and it's just like, it's like, okay, I, I understand better that is, it's, 
It's it needs made to be for marriage. made for marriage mm -hmm. and made for that intimate relationship of the person that you love, which I know that you and I had sex before marriage. I know this, but we knew that we were going to get married, which I mean, maybe a lot of people think they're going to get married. Well, let's have sex. Well, then they don't get married. But I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not judging. I'm just saying because I was a believer, I, mean, I changed my, I changed we my thought process about the way sex should be and how it should be and that it's about you and I and honoring you and not it's not because I mean I was sex before was just about me <laughs> you know what I'm saying you, you, <laughs> thank you for that visual I'm, sorry, I'm so I'm glad sorry. we're making this video <laughs> but do, I, does that does that make sense do you understand yeah it huh? makes perfect sense. Well, you, but if you wouldn't, I mean, I, or maybe it makes sense to you. I yeah. mean, maybe you were, mm -hmm. you didn't believe, and then all of a sudden you're a believer. Did it change the way that, I mean, I guess that's just, did it change the way that you viewed sex? I've just always been a sinner. That's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I'm not, that's what I'm saying. I didn't, it's like, yeah. I still sin. Yeah. I still do wrong things. I yeah. still, it's not, it's like, I, I'm, you know, the thing about it is, is, I mean, me personally, I'm harder on myself. I'm more judging of myself and the way that I act and the what things I'm that not, I do. We're not judgmental people. Oh, I don't judge we other people. Other I don't, people. I don't. We don't care. Like, we are going to accept them and love them no matter. Yeah. I mean, we really are. Yeah. But we have opinions on we things. We do. It's just like watching Luke. I thought he was a jerk. I did. I'm like, that guy is a I mean, jerk. But I didn't. I don't think God doesn't love him, or I don't think, I think he's just immature and young and has a lot of growing up to do. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt. Which, and so, this is a whole other subject, and so, I won't get on yeah. this. I just, you know, I think it's society, and maybe you disagree, agree on this. I'm, I'm like, we live in a society that everyone's offended. We're mm -hmm. offended about everything. Offended, offended, offended. Somebody says something. Well, that's some, what I saw last somebody, time. Somebody says something. Well, everybody, some, and he was so careful with his words. You can tell he watched yeah. himself back and knew it was like bad. we're just offended. But Don't I just be think, so offended. You are who you think, are. God made you who you are. Stand and be proud. Don't be so offended. Of I'm not. I'm not who offended. You are. No, I'm not. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking with you. Okay. So, okay. But anyways. This is, hey. our, this is our thoughts about Luke P. and Hannah. We I'm have, really glad. We have lots of thoughts. That the only fantasy suite I'm going in is in that bedroom with my own <laughs> husband. And he's not going in any fantasy suites with any other women other than me. Period. Period. Subscribe. So, yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe. Comment. So, <laughs> I've just walked in. Peace. <laughs>